Good morning one. Now I am Mrs. S. Vijay Lakshmi, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, CASF, Trivi College for Women, Virudhunagar. Now, now that time topic about accounting principles, concept and conventions. First one, accounting principles. The meaning of accounting principles are general guidelines to establish the standard for sound accounting practices and procedures in recording and reporting financial performance and status of a business to ensure the uniformity and easy understanding of accounting information. There are two basic principles in accounting. First one, accounting concept and accounting conventions. Then first now they discuss about accounting concept. Accounting concept means basic assumptions on the basis of which financial statements of a business entity are prepared. They are used as a foundation for formulating various accounting methods and procedures or recording and presenting the business transactions. The accounting methods are non-accounting methods and sole trader partnership company accounts etc. The accounting concept are first one business entity concept then second one money measurement concept then third one periodicity concept then fourth one accruals and prepayment concept then fourth one matching concept then sixth one going concern concept seventh one cost concept eighth one realization concept ninth last one dual aspect concept now the discuss about the first one business entity concept a business and its owners should be treated separately as for their financial transactions are concerned transactions between the owners and business are recorded in the accounting books for example capital account and drawings account Second one, money measurement concept, only business transaction that can be expressed in terms of money. For example, the goods are sold in value of rupee. Through records of other type of transaction are kept separately. Third one, periodicity concept. Each business chooses a specific time period to complete a cycle of the accounting process for example monthly quarterly or annually as per the physical or a calendar year fourth one accruals and prepayments accrual concept is an accounting concept that requires accounting transactions to be recorded in the time period in which they occur regardless of the time when the actual cash flow of the transactions are received, revenue does not mean cash received. Going concern concept. In accounting, a business is expected to continue for a fairly long time and carry out its commitments and obligations. This assumes that the business will not be forced to stop the functioning and liquidate its assets at fight sale places. Cost concept. The fixed assets of the business are recorded on the basis of their original cost in the first year of accounting. Subsequently, these assets are recorded minus depreciation. No rise or fall in market price is taken into account. The concept applies only to fixed assets. Matching concept. Expenses incurred in accounting period should be matched with the revenues during that period. This principle that for entry every revenue recorded in the accounting period and equal expenses entry has to be recorded for correctly calculating profit or loss in a given period. Realization concept. According to this concept, a profit is recognized only when it is earned. An advance or fee paid is not considered a profit until the goods or services have been delivered to the buyer. 
the revenue should be included in the accounting records only when it is realized realization means converted into cash then dual aspect concept for every credit a corresponding debit is made the recording of transaction is completely only with this dual aspects for example salary paid the entry should be debit the salary and give to the cash credit then second one second principles about accounting conventions the term conventions denote customs or traditions or practice based on general agreement or common constant among the accounting bodies which guide the accountant while preparing the financial statements following are the important accounting conventions number 1 consistency conventions conservatives conventions of full disclosure convention of materiality then first one consistency use of same accounting policies and methods for recording similar events or transactions that is it prescribed the use of the same accounting principles from one period of an accounting cycle to the next so that the same standard are applied to calculate the profit and loss account second one conservatism conservatism is the convention by which when two values of transactions are available the lower value transaction is recorded by this conventions profit should never be overestimated and there should always be provision for losses the third one convention of full disclosure according to this conventions all facts which are significant and necessary to make financial statements complete and understandable must be disclosed for example closing stock is valued at stock or market price whichever is less a provision for bad and doubtful debts on debt all is made in anticipation of actual bad debts in future the last one materiality it means that all the material facts should be recorded in accounting accountant should record important data and leave out significant informations okay thank you all